Hey, hey, I'm uh, Paul's cousin, guys. <laughs> I do look like this, though, like, like every day. Like uh, when I went to when I would go to the airport, you know, after 9/11, like uh, <laughs> they would just. They didn't give a fuck, dude. They would call me from like the back of the line. They're like, hey, you, chicken tikka masala, come on up, come on up. <laughs> but, but, but nowadays, it's, it's gotten too woke, right? So they, they don't even make eye contact with me anymore. They're like, and, and so, uh, I just gotta start putting stuff in my butt, dude. <laughs> uh, like a whole Colgate pack, dude. My grandma, <laughs> give her a snorkel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, no, I, I, I do get slurs sometimes. I, uh, uh, sand and word, that's, that's one. Uh, which is interesting uh, uh, because I can't say the slur that I'm being called. <laughs> the dude said it, and I was like, geez, you really flew past that sand part. <laughs> You weren't even trying to say it. Uh, uh, <laughs> there's better slurs, right? There's um, there's a uh, curry muncher. <laughs> That's a good one because uh, white people like curry too. Where's my curry munchers at, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 camel fucker. <laughs> That's awesome because uh, it insinuates that I don't have enough sex with people, <laughs> so I have to have sex with hoofed desert animals, <laughs> and then I'm a top. <laughs> Oh, this dude fucks Cameron, dude. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, terrorist? That's a, that's so interesting, uh, cause like my religion, I'm sick, right? And and uh, like my religion is like logic based, and like like if you go to one of our temples, like you can get free food. Pro tip. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, and and like the most the most I would do is like you know like I would hurt someone's feelings right so uh, like it just doesn't it doesn't make a lot of a lot of sense to me. Right? You know how tall you'd have to be to fuck a camel? Look. Camel <laughs> <laughs> pussy way up here, dude. <laughs> Because if you're fucking a camel, right? If you're fucking a camel, you're either like seven foot or you got a big old dick. <laughs> either way, somebody's gonna fuck you. <laughs> so at that point, you're fucking camels on purpose. <laughs> and so you don't care if someone calls you a camel fucker because that's a conscious decision. <laughs> oh yeah, camels, bring them over here. Dromedary, bacterarian, I'll work with it. <laughs> One um, two um. Uh, anybody like ice cream in here? Yeah. Uh, I took my cousin to uh, the Mecca, Dairy Queen, dude. All right? Fucking awesome. And I'm a Dairy Queen regular, right? So I'm like, you should get the cookie dough blizzard. Best blizzard. Everyone knows it. All right? And she says, no, I'm feeling something a little more chocolatey. She spots on the menu the chocolate extreme blizzard, which if you've ever been to Dairy Queen, you know that shit is disgusting. All right? It's gross. It's too damn chocolate. All right, Bobby, how chocolatey is it? Okay, all right, so if you took a cookie, right? And then you took all the, cho the cookie out of it, and you left just the chocolate. And then you took a medium-sized cup, and you flavor blasted a thousand of those into that cup. And then a big chocolate bear came walking out of the woods and started having consensual sex with that cup for 30 to 45 minutes, a regular amount of sex. And then you nut into that cup, right? And then you put a little bit of vanilla ice cream on top of it. That's a chocolate extreme blizzard. It's too damn chocolate. <laughs> Upon learning that there is vanilla ice cream inside of it, my cousin asked for chocolate ice cream. And at this point, the Dairy Queen worker becomes concerned. <laughs> He's like, no, ma'am, you're, you're not going to want to do that. It's already technically at extreme levels of chocolate. <laughs> All right, you're not gonna enjoy yourself. And uh, so 
he has to call in, and he's like, hey, uh, DQHQ, uh, franchise 8287. We got a code brown here. Oh, yeah, no, she doesn't look like she has anything to live for. All right. All right, I'll hand it over. And so we get in the car, right? We're sitting on a red light, and she looks over at me and says, Ew, this is too choppy. Opens the door, sets it on the ground. So I'm choking her, right? And it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're both minorities, it's fine. That's what makes it. All right, thank you very much for having me. Give it up.